Hello, welcome back to my channel. This video is the third and for now the last part where I try out how it is to draw on paper breakfast bags. For this one I used pastel pencils from Create a Color or Create a Color, Create a Color, Create a Color, ne, Create a Color. From this brand you can read there. Um, and I wanted to use these big chunky ones as well from the same brand. <laughs> But they didn't get a chance because the motive was too small. So I just ended up using the pencils. I also thought about using these metallic and glitter pens uh, that I got at the flea market. But in the end I also didn't use them. Sometimes I like to put everything that I plan to use for painting or craft project at once on the table so I can imagine how every th everything is going to turn out in the end. Although it gets quite cluttered this way. But yeah, you have, you and I have to live with this now. So for this paper bag drawing I did not sketch directly onto it like in my last video. This way I could play around with the motive freely without thinking about damaging the paper by erasing or uh, something like that. It was much easier. And of course I drew Pokemon again. I thought about drawing a fall scenery because the color of the tea on the paperback turned out like well typical shades of brownish fall colors. So I thought this would match a fall theme. Um, the paper I sketched on is really nothing special. It is an old one euro notepad. It is nothing different from any printing paper. It might be even worse quality wise. So the Pokemon I wanted to draw are Minchino and Stuffel playing with some leaves. I show you how the sketch turned out. I kind of like the wonky Minchino. I don't know what it is or why but wonky looking sketches or paintings make me smile. 
I hope you can appreciate your wonky sketches too. I think they are at least as important as every other sketch or painting. To transfer the sketch onto the back, I used carbon paper for the first time. Um, I have never used this before, but I thought, ah, what could go wrong? This doesn't look complicated at all. So I just put it between my sketch and the paper bag and just put that metal ball thingy over the lines. But as I checked how it went... <laughs> Well, this could go wrong. I've used it the wrong way. I don't know why, but I didn't think about that this paper could possibly have the wrong side. I was used to use the method to color in the whole back of the sketch paper with an 8B pencil completely so it would get dirty anyways, that I didn't even consider that something wouldn't make the sketch paper dirty. So yeah, something new learned. On to the next try. This time I got it right, but my workspace got too cluttered, so I had to declutter everything first. And there I made the second mistake. I didn't tape anything down. If I did so, I could have checked underneath without losing the track. But never mind. I kept a cool mind. I stayed very calm without being mad at myself or something like that. And just finished the rest of the sketch freehanded. I wanted to lighten up the carbon lines. I thought they were much too dark. They were quite difficult to erase though. I should keep that in mind when I use this carbon paper the next time. Or maybe I could be more careful with pressing down the transfer metal ball thingy. Just a little bit. But yeah. Now to my favorite part, the coloring. The pastel from the pencil stuck really well onto the roughened surface from the tea. It got down much easier than the colored pencils I used in the last video. I also love that it turned out matte and not shiny and that the colors turned out very bright and even. I also could mix the colors with each other very easily.
For the details I first wanted to use the glitters and metallic pens, but as I made tiny tests on another paper I thought that it wouldn't fit to the overall matte finish and earthy color scheme. So I came up with a simple black contour just done by fineliner. And I did the white details in the eyes with my white Signo Uniball gel pen. So here we have all my three drawings together. I think this experiment was quite a success. I think it was very fun to draw and paint on these breakfast bags. Maybe I'm going to do this again with other materials. Which one do you like the most? I like all of them, but the pestle one is my favorite. I hope you liked what you've seen. Till the next video. Bye!